had this battery equaliser in place for a few months now. It's been doing an okay job. But from time to time during absorption and float, this bank here can be a little bit out of whack. At the moment things are okay. But I'm going to change it out for a new unit and try something else. So I'm really not happy with this product at the moment. I have the unit protected by a bank of fuses over here. I'll take the covers off now and remove those fuses. The fuses have been pulled. I'll disconnect that cable off the bottom of the bank there. And pull that back out, undo a couple of screws and remove the unit. Out with the old, in with the new. Remove that old one there from the wall, I'll screw the new one in and uh, connect it up. And replace those fuses and we'll check out the operation. These cables are installed in pairs. It's four pairs for the four batteries on a 48 volt battery bank. I'll add them one at a time to the block, making sure the polarity is correct. The new equalizer has been connected. Double check all my polarity there. I'll go ahead and add the fuses now. I'll start by adding the negative fuse. Now I'll add the positive fuses, one by one. We just look at the gauge there. We've got error on three of the banks, and we've got 13.6 volts on the fuse I just plugged in. I'll continue plugging in the positive fuses now. There we go, it's up and working now. We can leave that and see how it progresses. It's the end of the day at the moment, so we're not gonna get that absorption and float, but we can check it out tomorrow and just make sure all those numbers are correct. I've had that equalizer in place for about a week now. It's been working flawlessly, much better than that old unit been maintaining the batteries perfectly. We'll take a look at the gauge up top here. It shows each of the batteries individually. So that's perfect. Gonna be happy with that. Thanks for watching guys. There's a quick update on the equalizer. Take it easy.